the Bell AH-1Z Viper, the world's most advanced attack helicopter. The Bell AH-1Z Viper is an attack helicopter derived from the earlier Bell AH-1 Super Cobra. When contrasted against its predecessor, it incorporates various improvements and advances, including new rotor technology, upgraded military avionics, updated weapon systems, and electro-optical sensors in an integrated weapons platform. The Bell AH-1Z Viper is a twin-engine attack helicopter based on the AH-1W Super Cobra, designed and produced by the American aerospace manufacturer Bell Helicopter. Being one of the latest members of the prolific Bell Huey family, it is also called Zulu Cobra, based on the military phonetic alphabet pronunciation of its variant letter. The AH-1Z was developed during the 1990s and 2000s as a part of the H-1 upgrade program on behalf of the United States Marine Corps, USMC. It is essentially a modernization of the service's existing AH-1WS and was originally intended to be a rebuild program before subsequent orders were made for new build helicopters instead. On December 8th, 2000, the AH-1Z conducted its maiden flight. Low-rate initial production was launched in October 2003. On September 30, 2010, the USMC declared that the AH-1Z had attained combat readiness. It fully replaced the preceding AH-1W Super Cobra during October 2020. The type forms a key element of the Aviation Combat Element (ACE) task force which support all phases of USMC expeditionary operations. Since the AH-1Z was introduced, the USMC has pursued various upgrades, such as installing Link-16 data link and outfitting it with the AGM-179A Joint Air-to-Ground Missile JAGM. Additionally, numerous export customers have been sought for the AH-1Z. It has regularly competed with the Boeing AH-64 Apache for orders. The first export customer was the Royal Bahraini Air Force. The Czech Air Force has also ordered the type. At one point, Pakistan was set to operate its own AH-1ZS, but deliveries were blocked due to political factors. Aspects of the AH-1Z can be traced back to the experimental Bell 249 of 1979, which was essentially an upgraded AH-1S, having been equipped with the four-blade main rotor system from the Bell 412 utility helicopter. The Bell 249 was used as a demonstrator for Bell's Cobra II concept and made an appearance at the Farnborough Air Show in 1980. As promoted by Bell, the Cobra II was to be equipped with various new and redesigned combat systems, which included the AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missile, a new targeting system, and was also to be powered by improved engines as well. The further developed Cobra 2000 proposal included the General Electric T-700 engine and a four-blade rotor. While bells for the proposal did generate some interest within the U.S. Marine Corps, funding was not forthcoming to pursue its development at that time. During 1993, Bell opted to enter an AH-1W-based variant for the UK's new attack helicopter program. This derivative, which was named the Cobra Venom, featured a modern digital cockpit and could carry wire-guided missiles, Hellfire, or Brimstone missiles. The Cobra Venom design was further refined two years later, notably by the adoption of a four-blade rotor system. However, later that same year, a rival bid for the AH-64D Apache Longbow was selected to fulfill the program instead.
In 1996, the USMC launched the H-1 upgrade program by signing a contract with Bell Helicopter for upgrading 180 AH-1WS into AH-1ZS and upgrading 100 UH-1NS into UH-1YS. The H-1 program created completely modernized attack and utility helicopters with considerable design commonality to reduce operating costs. The AH-1Z and UH-1Y share a common tailbone, engines, rotor system, drivetrain, avionics architecture, software, controls, and displays for over 84% identical components. Bell participated in a joint government test team during the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase of the H-1 program. Research and development progressed slowly from 1996 to 2003. The existing two-blade semi-rigid, teetering rotor system was replaced with a four-blade, hingeless, bearingless rotor system. The four-blade configuration provides improvements in flight characteristics including increased flight envelope, maximum speed, vertical rate of climb, payload, and reduced rotor vibration level. The AH-1Z first flew on December 8, 2000. Bell delivered three prototype aircraft to the United States Navy's Naval Air Systems Command at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in July 2002 for the flight test phase of the program. Low-rate initial production began in October 2003, with deliveries running through 2018. In late 2006, a contract was awarded to Midget Defense Systems to develop a new linkless 20mm ammunition handling system to improve on the gun feed reliability of the existing linked feed system. In February 2008, the U.S. Navy adjusted the contract so the last 40 AH-1ZS were built as new airframes instead of the previously planned rebuild of AH-1WS. In September 2008, the Navy requested an additional 46 airframes for the Marine Corps, bringing the total number ordered to 226. During 2010, the Marine Corps ordered 189 AH-1ZS, with 58 of them being new airframes, with deliveries to continue until 2022. Amongst other advantages provided by these changes, it has improved survivability and can locate targets at longer ranges and also attack them using precision weapons. The airframe was extensively redesigned to maximize crashworthiness. Measures include energy absorbing landing gear, fuel vapor inerting systems, self sealing fuel tanks, energy attenuating crashworthy seating, and a mass retention design approach applied to many major components. Active systems include countermeasure dispensers, radar warning, incoming slash on-way missile warning, on-fuselage laser spot warning systems, and the hover infrared suppression system, HIRSS, to protect the engine exhausts.